Did you know the Birmingham Fastener family of companies has over half a million square foot of manufacturing space? What? That's nuts. Mainly bolts, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And a whole lot of that is actually divided up by hot heading and cold heading. So what's the difference between the two? So hot heading is where you're taking steel bar, heating it up to approximately 16 to 2100 degrees, and then putting it into a forging press and forming the head that way. Whereas cold heading, we're taking wire and putting that through a multi-blow process on a machine. So despite what it is, at the end of the process, that cold headed part is gonna be a little hot, but it's much cooler than the 2000 degrees. How would I know when to use one or the other? So there's multiple advantages and disadvantages and also factors at play that are going to make you decide if you're going with cold heading or hot heading. Okay. Hot heading, small quantities, larger diameter product makes a ton of sense. But whenever you're getting into small product, under an inch, under inch and a quarter diameter parts, and you're running a ton of them, you know, thousands of parts, that's when you really need to consider cold heading. So the cold heading is gonna be more or less for high volume, smaller parts, while with the hot heading, it's more or less for larger diameter material, correct? Correct, and I mean, there's a whole lot of other factors that go into that. Cold heading allows you to get tighter tolerances, uh, more detailed head shapes and things like that, but to tool up those machines again is cost preventative if you're only running a couple. Okay, that makes complete sense. I'm, I'm glad you kind of explained the, the differences between hot heading and cold heading. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about fasteners, check out behamfast.com.